Hi, Steve from Custom Table Tennis and this is a short video to introduce you to our new range of blades. This is the Professional Carbon range. I'm going to go with the box first because I know I'll forget at the end. So you get it in a nice presentation cardboard box. Uh, but what you get with it, aside from your blade obviously, and a little card underneath that tells you the, what the full range is, you get I'll put that to one side you get a little registration card which tells you what it is tells you the handle shape and it also tells you the weight and the bat weight if we make it into a bat and then the date that you that you ordered it reason being is because over the years we've had many many phone calls and spend many hours on the phone with people ringing up and sometimes we never get to the bottom of it Oh, I've just I play at so-and-so -so club. I've been just using Bill's bat and I want one like his. And the conversation is usually, wow, what's, it, what's his surname? Oh, I don't know. What's his bat? Oh, I don't know, but it's got a blue handle. Uh, what's the rubbers? I don't know. So that's one of the reasons why we, we're going with this. Aside from the fact that if you want to order another one in a year's time, you know exactly what you've got and we can find you one of the same weight. Because we... Um, it is wood and carbon so although our tolerances are quite good plus or minus three you're going to get one slightly under or slightly over it's, it's the nature of the business right so we'll move along to the first blade Pop that out of the way so the first one is the premium hinoki carbon um, and that has got the hinoki handle you get the registration card with that as i've just explained and what we've done this time, because I know over the years these could be, these probably be kicking around long after I'm gone. So that can wear off over the years and then it comes back and then you're left with nothing. So what we've decided to do is put a nice logo at the bottom. So you'll always know what you've got. You always know what you're playing with. So going through the range then, and I'm not going to spend hours on, on this because the control thing is it's subjective but what we're doing we're going through the range so if you want a fairly fairly quick blade carbon but you want touch and feel your hinoki is your place to start and then moving up the range you've got the zebrano which is a little bit quicker again this is a uh, zebrano wood it's a little bit higher on the janker scale than the hinoki and that's got a cedar western red cedar handle and you can see underneath again so you know what it is we know what it is it makes life simple for everyone moving on to the rosewood which <clears throat> probably most people are more familiar with rosewood again you get the registration card that's got a paduk handle because it actually fits in with the color and we quite liked it and when they sent us umpteen different samples and then again at the bottom you've got where what it is premium rosewood carbon so moving along to the fastest in the range which is the wengi it's also the heaviest um i mean that's that's one that i found out that was found out the all that was probably more in spec but they're usually round about 90 grams plus or minus three probably 90 or just over because the nature of the wood it's a very very hard wood and again we've got the logo at the bottom so in the first two the core is kiri more control more touch more feel and then on these two it's a bishi because it, there's just more power and pace it involved um, the other range we've got to show you the, the these have actually arrived before the wood ones but as you can see on the flyer here we've got the wood ones available which is a separate video to show you close-ups I'll just show you the all-round wood blade again we changed our logo on this one because it's an all-round blade it's the entry-level blade although it's quite perfectly suits most people so if you're just starting out 
U3A group or whatever it might be, this is the blade that you will need when we haven't gone to the expense of putting the logo at the bottom because we can see it there. And finally, what we've done this time that we've not been able to do in previous years, we've been making our own blades for about 16 years, is we've got different handle shapes. So if you want a straight, you think if you think, oh, I like them, but he hasn't got a straight, oh, I can't have one. We now do them in a straight, which obvious to most people, it's just a straight up and down handle. And then we've also got the anatomic, which I played with an anatomic for a lot of years, actually. The theory is with the anatomic is you've got this little bulge here and it fits in the hollow of your hand. But the point is you've got choices of all three shapes, especially when some manufacturers are now discontinuing the um, anatomic. And, and we know exactly why, because it's just the expense involved because out of selling 10 blades, we probably do I don't know, we'll probably do 10 flared and we won't do one of these, but out of 50, we might do 40, 40 flared and five of each of these two, but they are available. So just a short video, I'm not gonna go on for long. What I will do is that I've not mentioned, I've done separate videos about this. We've got some 35 videos on YouTube. So have a look at our previous videos. Um, I was gonna get them factory sealed, but the cost was phenomenal. To go for the factory ceiling so i'm back to old school i will do this for you at no extra charge and what i normally do because i know from a I've been table tennis player myself is these edges they've done a little bit of harassing for us in the factory because i mentioned it to them but i'm just going to do a little bit more so i'm not going to silly it on it you can do this yourself if you like if you want more of don't get a file or anything like that. You're not damaging the blade, you're just taking a little bit more off. And I've done old videos. I've, in fact, I've done two videos of why we do this. And some players still argue that it changes the characteristics of the wood. But um, anyway, this is brand new one of them. You don't need a lot on and it takes seconds. So why would I not do it for you? Um, other brands, well, uh, they, 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 they just don't do it. There's not many blades pre-factory seals because I understand the um, the cost involved. And I use that. Um, it's easy to cut in. I used to use brushes, but this is just so simple. And there you go. That's nearly one side done. Down there as well. I know some people just go straight across but and then I go around the edges because if you if you are going to catch it on the table, just round the edges. Don't worry too much about it. Just get on there because you're going to go around the face again. Right, right. So that's sealed around the edges. Go around the face again. So I've seen people blaze when they've come back. They've not done this bit, and you get like a little ridge. So that's one side done. On the other side, look how it lifts the grain. It really does lift the grain, right? So I don't know how long it's going to take me. Uh, when the video is complete, I can actually see how long it does take me, but it's certainly not more than a minute or two. And then as I say, with this little thing, you can cut in down the edges. It's touch dry in 20 minutes. Um, I prefer to leave them two or three hours before I put rubbers on, but I know, um, some people do them quicker than that but that this it would probably be touch dry on the other side now so all you've done you've not lathered it up with yacht varnish or anything something like that's water-based ITF approved and we're going to do that with every single blade of ours that we send out so it's uh, Steve from custom table tennis if you want more videos hit the like and subscribe button and we'll get more videos when we've got more products. Short introduction to the range. Stay from Custom Table Tennis. Bye for now.